Understanding how to use a syringe is important to ensure that your pet receives the correct amount of medication. You may see either the letters CC or ML on the prescription label or on your syringe. CC stands for cubic centimeter, which holds one milliliter. Thus, CC and ML are equivalent and can be used interchangeably because they stand for the same volume of fluid. There are three parts to a syringe that are worth noting, the plunger, the barrel, and the tip, also known as the hub. The plunger fits tightly within the barrel and is pushed or pulled to achieve the desired amount of medication. The only thing to note about the tip of the syringe is that it often will have leftover liquid remaining in it after you've given your pet their medication. Do not worry about this leftover liquid. Just dispose of it when you are cleaning your syringe. To operate a syringe, first make sure the plunger is pressed down to the bottom of the barrel, then place the tip into the bottle of medication. Draw back on the plunger and the liquid will flow into the syringe. You may need to go back and forth on the plunger to dispel air bubbles. The markings on the side of the syringe indicate how much liquid you have drawn in. If you draw up more than you need, replace the excess medication back into the prescription bottle. At the end of the plunger, there is a rubber tip that is domed. To accurately measure the amount of liquid in your syringe, be sure to line up the top ring of the plunger tip with the proper calibration marking on the barrel. Do not use the tip of the dome or the lower ring of the plunger tip when reading the amount of liquid in the syringe. The visible numbers on the barrel of the syringe are next to the longest line markings. On a one milliliter syringe, each number represents one tenth of a milliliter. The medium line between these points denotes 0.05 milliliters and the smallest markings denote 0.01 milliliters. The following series of photos will walk you through the markings of a 1cc syringe. When you are finished with the syringe, pull the plunger out of the barrel and clean the parts in warm soapy water. Then rinse thoroughly and allow the parts to air dry on a clean paper towel. If the syringe becomes difficult to plunge, dab a very small amount of coconut oil or olive oil on the edges of the plunger tip. If you have questions about how to use a syringe, please contact our clinic. Thanks for watching.